Hello everybody, I'm Natalie. Welcome to my channel. This is a 20 minute handstand practice and we'll get started with a warm up. If the weather where you are practicing is also extra depressing as it is now here in, Janu in January in Germany, um, then I send extra power to you with this power handstand practice. Let's jump right in. We'll start with knees bent. Stomach pulling towards the spine. Big shoulder rolls backwards. To the front. Straighten the knees. Thumbs point backwards. Pull the stomach in as you draw the arms up. Very straight elbows. Have a look at your elbows once. Check that they are straight. Thumbs are still pointing backwards. Now here you've got your point of maximum shoulder mobility. And here you are now going to push up and rotate the hands and your armpits outwards. Up and over your highest point of shoulder mobility and then you'll reach behind you as slowly as I do it here. And again, thumbs point backwards, your biggest shoulder opening, and then you push the shoulders up and over and then reach behind you, behind you more. Three more times, thumbs point backwards, push up and over, reach behind you more. And reach up and over, really reach further, further, further behind you. This should be hard work. And thumbs point backwards, go up and over. Okay, great. Now here from the front ones, swimming motion, you part the fingers and you reach the fingers behind you as far as you can. And a little bit further, pull your shoulder blades together. Let's hold for one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Curve, bending the knees. So this is the biggest curve you can possibly create. Here, starting from your chest. This is not a curve. The curve is in the chest. One more time, swimming motion. Pull the fingers behind you, straighten the knees and open the chest. F pull further back for one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One more time, curve, 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 knees bent. Biggest curve you can create in the chest. Push the shoulders front and pull the fingers one more time behind you as far as possible opening the chest knees are straight for one two three four five six seven eight okay great reach up elevating the shoulders as high as you can once here as high as possible maximum shoulder push for one two three four five, six, seven, eight. I hope you managed to breathe a little bit. And let's come down to the floor where we are going to do the exact same thing except in a hollow body shape position. So we will create a plank shape. Um, I call it a plank. It's not really a plank. It's the hollow body position like this, arms off the floor, shoulders off the floor, shoulders elevated. Yeah, so that's what we're going to do. Your job is to push your stomach into the floor so there's no gap between the lower back and the floor, to elevate the shoulders and to find a shallow breath at the top of your chest because we're going to hold 20 seconds. So get ready. Start by pushing the lower back into the floor Legs come off the floor, really squeeze the butt. Shoulder blades off, push your shoulders up, up, up. Hold for one, two, three, four, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty. And relax and breathe. So if you find it very difficult to breathe, count with me. When you count, you force yourself to breathe. And then maybe your voice uh, becomes as funny and weird as mine when I count in a dish hold. Let's do this one more time. Stomach pushes down into the floor. Legs come off the floor. Shoulders come off. Arms up. Shoulders elevate for one, two, three. 
four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty. Okay, great. And let's get off the mat. One big shoulder stretch with the wall. You know this shoulder stretch if you've been doing classes here with me. Uh, hands are diagonally high up on the wall here and the feet are set hip width apart. And now please open your entire chest towards the wall. So also release the lower back. So you want to aim at really bringing your upper body here, your chest towards the wall. You can look up at your fingers. Make sure that you don't also move your hips towards the wall. Hips push backwards, chest into the wall. And try to not pulse, but hold with me for another 10 seconds. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Okay, awesome. So now I would like you to remember the dish hold shape that we did. We are going to do the exact same shape with the wall. So you might not want to have a mat here in front of you. I'm going to just leave mine here. So make sure you can't slip on the floor wherever your hands are. I'll show you once and then we'll do it together. So this is what it looks like. I'm just going to create a diagonal that imitates the dish hold shape as much as possible on the floor. Um, you can keep your legs bent if you struggle with shoulder mobility, but I would encourage you to keep the legs straight. We will hold two times 20 seconds. So find your position. Let's hold together. I'll count for you and you breathe for me, please. So feet are in position and we're going to hold one, two, three, four, five stomach pulls in seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty. Step down one leg after the other, one leg down, and then the other leg. Very good. Roll your shoulders back. We'll do this right away another time for 20 seconds. If you feel like you can't hold anymore, carefully step down. One leg after the other. Don't wait until your feet slide off the wall. Um, you can try again another day and hold it for longer. So let's hold another 20 seconds. Feet go up into position. Elevate the shoulders. Stomach pulls in for one, two. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty. One leg after the other steps down. Okay, great. It's a power practice, so let's not take long breaks. In my own practice, I like to keep the breaks short, make it nice and compact, leaves you more time for doing other things in the day that you also enjoy. Let's do kick-ups. I'll give you two choices, a one-leg kick-up or a full kick-up. And again, you can do this in front of the wall if that gives you a bit more security. Half kick-up looks like this. That's one leg up, the other stays low. A full kick-up is with closing off the legs. So what I would really like, if we could continue this in a regular rhythm. So we'll do six sets of six in a rhythm together. So pace yourself so you can go up and down. It's not about balance yet, okay? So we're only going to go up and down for six all together. Starting now. And one. And two. And three and four and five and six. Okay, awesome. 
Let's come to a plank position. And in the plank position, we will push the shoulders back and front. Let's start for 10 and one and two and three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and nine, 10. Great. Come back up to standing. Let's repeat. Set of six of your choice. Half kick up or closing. Let's go. Four, one, and two, and three, and four, and five, and one more, six. Come to your plank position straight away. We are going to push again, front and back for 10, pushing with your toes for one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Super. Okay, awesome. So now we will do two handstand holds, 30 seconds. I would invite you to do a 30 second hold with me. Um, if you can't hold 30 seconds, you just come down and wait for us to continue. That's totally all right. You can do this with the wall or freestanding. Um, with the wall, with your back towards the wall or front against the wall. So whichever is your choice, let's try and hold two times 30 seconds. I'm going to do this freestanding here. So find your position. Don't kick your room plants. And let's kick up and hold 30 seconds with shoulders pushed up, stomach in for one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. 10, find a shallow breath at the top of your chest. 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Come down softly. Come down slowly. Take a breath. Roll your shoulders backwards. One more time. It's not the most important that you hold 30 seconds, but try to push yourself just a little bit further than you think you can hold. And that way you increase your hold times. Okay, great. Let's do this one more time. Find your position and kick up to hold for one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen shoulders up and stomach in and find a breath, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, one, two, three, four, five, six, Seven, eight, nine, ten. Come down slowly. Okay, very nice. Roll your wrists and elbows and shoulders like they are one connected chain. So you start from the wrists, the elbows, shoulders, wrist, elbows, shoulders, and make this bigger. Involve your chest. Let's step the legs a bit wider into a straddle position. So it's chest opening as we had it in the beginning and closing. So you can kind of imagine you're a bit like an, like this octopus with two arms. Yes, yeah, so you have an undulating chest which opens and closes the way we did in the beginning. So we start with an opening, pulling the chest open and front to straighten the arms. Bending elbows and wrists and front, bend and front. 
So find a big movement. So this is a cool down for shoulders, elbows and wrists. Doesn't matter whether this looks the same, but find a big movement that's an expansion and a contraction. We have expand, contract. In any way, in any octopus manner that suits you, yeah? But we have contract, expand, contract, expand. Let's do big circles, this time with very straight arms, big circles. Like we had in the beginning, that you pull behind you with your fingertips as much as possible, pull behind you. Up and pull behind you. Opening the chest, pulling behind you one more time. Okay, great. Very nice. Um, step the legs in back to parallel. Let's do one last stretch. So I take hold of my wrist. I pull the arm across the front. And if you want to, you can straighten the opposite arm of the opposite leg of the arm. So I straighten my right leg. I pull my left arm into a diagonal. Feel the stretch across the back. Other side, same thing. Hold on to your right wrist. I'm going to straighten my left leg and pull across the front diagonally. Okay, cool. And release. Uh, feel free to do any other stretch that you like. Thank you very much for following me in this practice routine. If you like to do follow along routines like that, I have loads more on this channel and also in my Vimeo library, which is in the link below. If you like my videos, please support me on Patreon. I really appreciate every person who supports me um, on Patreon with a little bit of cash. Thank you very much. Have a lovely day. See you in the next video.